Peggy 3. The first video I'm going to show you about vision is our attempt to replicate uh, a Fabregas pass that happened against Barcelona this year. Um, as you can see, there's some wedges around the defender who's in possession of the ball at the beginning of the video. And these wedges uh, is what we're calling the vision map, and is the concept that we've created to try to create this behavior. You can see that the defender's vision map is not very big, uh, he doesn't have a lot of um, vision behind him, and he doesn't see all the opportunities that are presented in a play at a, uh, at a given moment. But now, when we run the video and he passes the ball to Fabregas, who is around the middle of the field, as he gets it, you can see that his vision map is much, much larger. And this is because of his vision attributes. And now this vision map changes on a variety of things. The opportunities and threats that I mentioned affect um, how much the, the vision map slows down as it hits that player. Uh, it also, the vision attribute also affects how, how big the vision map is in general, um, in terms of the, the angle that he can see, in terms of how much he remembers after seeing an opportunity, and all these different things that create a very, very sophisticated system to really replicate the, uh, the behavior of players like Fabregas and Xavi. So you can see when Fabregas gets it and he's turning around, his wedges now already cover the opportunity that he's actually going to capitalize on and that he actually did in, in the real life example. And this, this pass then creates uh, this you know, amazing opportunity to score. Now, when we run the, the test again, by keeping all the variables the same, but only substituting Fabregas for another player, in this case it's Jay Spark from Manchester United, you can see that the outcome is going to be different. The first defender is the same, his wedges are the same, he passes it to Park, and you can see that Park's vision map is much larger than the defender, but it's not quite as big as and encompassing as Fabrica's. Because of this, as he turns, he's not yet ready to make that pass. He hasn't seen that opportunity yet up the field. So he's still considering other things, and eventually he does. You can see that the vision map eventually gets to that place of the field, but now it's too late. He takes two touches on the ball as it takes time for him to see the whole play develop and when he plays the pass, the defender is actually the one that ends up with the ball because the attacker has now given up on it. And as you can see, it's a subtle difference, but it makes a world of difference when it comes to the outcome of a play. And that's what we're going to have in this year's game.